Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Engineering Forum. This is the fifth lecture, fifth lecture of the topic friction, where in previous lecture we understood uh, what is angle of friction, and in this lecture we'll be getting into the topic coefficient of friction. So this was the figure which we discussed last time also, where uh, there is a force P acting, that is external force P acting on the right hand side. And uh, the frictional force is acting on the left hand side that is opposite to that of the external force and uh, weight is always acting downwards that is towards the center of gravity of the earth or towards the center of the surface rough surface we would say and uh, there is a reaction that is normal to the plane or we can say at the 90 degree from the rough surface or here or here and it is symbolized by or abbreviated by capital N and the angle of friction that is phi which is uh, the resultant of normal reaction and frictional force so we would say that uh, limiting friction that is f is proportional to the normal reaction that is n so we understood uh, the topic limiting limiting friction in the second lecture that is the minimum uh, frictional force developed due to the minimum force required to move the box that is known as limiting friction so we would say that uh, this f is directly proportional to n that is frictional force or limiting frictional force is directly proportional to normal reaction by removing this proportionality sign we will get a constant and uh, making this constant as subject we, we get the formula f by n that is frictional force or limiting frictional force divided by normal reaction so this frictional uh, constant or we could say coefficient of friction gives us the formula f by n so based on the theory and derivation we can now define the coefficient of friction that is the ratio of limiting friction and the normal reaction is called coefficient of friction mu is equal to f by n so we need to memorize this formula as it is gonna be very important for solving the numericals so this is the first formula for the coefficient of friction but there is another before that uh, i would show a component here this frictional force can also be shown over here as it is the horizontal component i'm not uh, resolving it but just putting it from here to here so if i show it here to complete this triangle this triangle if I could show it over here, it would look something like this. This is F, this is my N normal reaction and this would become my R that is resultant force. So here we are having an angle phi that is known as angle of friction according to our previous lecture. We would say that uh, 10 phi is equal to f by n that is 10 phi is equal to opposite side upon adjacent side 10 phi is equal to f by n because 10 theta is equal to opposite side upon adjacent side so we are having this uh, from equation number one we can say f by n is mu so mu is equal to 10 phi this becomes our formula or we would say alternate formula for coefficient of friction so basically coefficient of friction is a constant that we get due to the result of uh, limiting friction and normal reaction so this is the second formula which which we need to memorize for uh, numerical purpose and uh, this was all about coefficient of friction and uh, we'll be continuing with the sixth lecture so keep watching